Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. It's going to be for the Horror Man Slashback Saturdays. Uh, I want to send a shout out to Joe the Horror Man. And let's get this challenge started for Saturday. The topic for this Saturday is going to be a film, pretty much a 70s slasher. So it's pretty, gets to the straight to the point there. And this is a fun topic. I really enjoy these type of films. So my choice for this Saturday is going to be 1979's Silent Scream. This stars, uh, it's directed by Denny Harris. It stars Rebecca Balding, Barbara Still, and Cameron Mitchell. Uh, Cameron Mitchell came out in such films as Blood and Black Lace, Night Train to Terror, and Barbara Still Needs No Introduction. She came out in films such as Black Sunday, Pit and the Pendulum, a lot, a lot of uh, classic horror films. So has a pretty good cast in this film. This is a 1979 slasher. So let's get into the plot of this film. It's basically about Scotty, played by Rebecca Balding. She's a college student who's pretty much late to her fall uh, semester sign-in. She's trying to find a place nearby, actually on campus, and they tell her this fool. So she has to go around uh, Southern California uh, looking for a, a place to stay, and she's running out of luck. And finally she comes across this large old house. She goes there, her and another guy are there and pretty much racing for a room. And she, the, actually the landlord is a Mason. He's the son of Miss Givens. And he's, they're the ones renting out the house. And they actually tell him there's two rooms. So they both get a room, their own rooms. And as she gets in this house, she starts to realize strange things are happening. Feels like someone's watching her. So um, she pretty much ends up meeting three college students that are staying here. And they all become friends, end up going on double dates around the town and getting to know each other. But as they do this, uh, they end up getting picked off one by one. It starts off with this guy who's really a spoiled guy in this film. Forgot his name. He's real, one that his dad buys him everything. He ends up being the first... Uh, first victim here and it starts to go down the line and they're wondering well, what's going on so Scotty starts to investigate and how she investigates about this strange family with the son Mason and the the, the mom misgiving supposedly she starts to unravel a, a murder mystery in this film and she ends up uh, discovering a horrifying pretty much a horrifying uh situation that's going on in this house so it's pretty much scotty as the final girl trying to survive a sadis sadistic killer in this film that's slashing up all her friends so that's basically the plot um if i have a little flaw about this film i think they give the killer way too too quick there i thought it was a little too soon but it's still enjoyable because then it has another twist that makes up for it towards the end uh, I like the kills in this film. There's some music in here that sounds like Friday the 13th. Uh, this film was in 79. Friday the 13th was in 80, so I don't know which one. It's not the exact same song, but it kind of resemble each other. And also there's a lot of inspiration from Psycho in this film as well. There's a kill that's very reminiscent of Psycho. And the music is right on there with Psycho too, so I think... The director had a lot of inspiration from Psycho as well. So you'll hear uh, Friday the 13th music through this film. Similar to it. And similar similar music to uh, Psycho as well. I enjoyed the kills. They're, a lot of them are basic kills. But they're, they're pretty good man. Nice slasher aspect to it. Uh, the killer is, is a pretty good twist in this film. I enjoyed the story overall. And yeah, this film I would highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's a fun uh, 70s slasher here. And uh, I, I enjoyed the twist at the end too. So um, yeah, I'm going to rate this one probably my 4 out of 5. Very solid film from the 70s. That's 1979's Silent Scream. Uh, you guys, please uh, hit a like, comment, subscribe as well. Like, uh, like, I cannot talk again, guys. Excuse me. Like and subscribe. Comment as well. Uh, I want to send a shout out to the Horror Man. Excellent Slashback Saturday Challenge. Happy Slashback, everyone. 
This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Keep it horror. Peace. Are you afraid of the dark? Of being alone? Or are you willing to explore the unknown? Holding back your fear? Allowing your natural curiosity to guide you? Despite warnings? Another victim, kid.